Hey everybody, Scott here for Toaster Tips TV, and today, Prince, do it. Yeah, today uh, I was planning on doing my top 10 profiles, but then when I started to dig into it, it's a little bit larger of an undertaking than I can handle today because I've got rehearsal later on today. Still got to get some uh, performances set up in the remote before I leave at 6 o'clock, so I'm going to save that for Friday or maybe next Monday. We'll see. Uh, today, I'm going to go through a two-preset song, and there are reasons when you... Uh, we'll have to use two presets. Um, I'm hoping to not do it a lot, or not have to do it a lot, but it all has to do with uh, amps you may want to have for a clean section of a song, amps for a crunch section, a delay setting or reverb setting for one section and then for another. So that's what's changing with uh, this one. I'm doing Purple Rain, two presets. And the first one has a completely clean amp, obviously. The second one is an overdriven uh, EVH3. Now, I've got different delays on both, different amounts of delay. And you can't really adjust that because you can't assign that to a stop yet. I'm hoping that they'll uh, change that in uh, a future uh, software update to be able to allow you to have a stop as a delay would be really sweet. Um, so, here is my intro sound for this song. It's just, uh, you know, uh, I'm playing it on my, this is another one of those here's what I do kind of situations. And uh, neck pickup, everything cranked like this. <laughs> switch over to number two. I don't have it in a uh, uh, a performance yet, so I got to do some switching by hand. Now with this one, um, I have not yet assigned a gate to this one. I probably should, but meh, we'll see. We'll see if it's necessary. So with this, when I switch, I'm going to the in-between positions here, but I'm also blending in a little bit of this with the blend pot. So I've got all three pickups happening and it's kind of a, a, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm all the way down on the humbucker, but with the blend in. So I've got the humbucker and the neck pickup. Stir. That is my overdriven sound. And then I, I kick in the, uh, the VPD for the leads and, uh, or you know, the, the lead, I should say. And the delay is set for the uh, eighth note. So you get that kind of like on the record. Go over to the Kemper. I'm going to show you the uh, the settings and the amps. Alrighty, let's go back to number one first, and it is a Amp Factory uh, Fan Deluxe Blackface 69 Amp uh, Fender, you know, and uh, uh, it's from the Amp Factory Rig Pack number two. Um, 
as far as the compression goes, I'm just using my standard compressor with a little bit of uh, extra on it. My settings are always basically the same. I range between like 3.2 and uh, 4 and then 2.2 to like 3 and then uh, z 1 to like 1.6 or 1.8 on the squash. So I'm using the dual comp uh, EQ mode method, excuse me, mode, what the hell am I talking about? Where I use two EQs and the first one is uh, for accentuating low end, meaning it's boosting some of this. It's attenuating some highs, so that's, you know, it's really sort of helping the low end. Uh, boosting some low uh, mids and uh, removing some uh, 1K because I don't like 1K. No one should. I'm pulling down the volume because I'm needed, I need to do uh, some volume adjusting on the, uh, the presets from the clean one to uh, actually, I don't think I need to do that, but whatever. Uh, from the, uh, the clean one to the uh, heavy one, I should say. I don't know why I did that on the clean one. Oh well, I'll have to adjust it at rehearsal. Ah, live and burn, I'm telling you. Now this one, uh, I'm pulling down some lows. So this one's uh, adjusting, adjusting on the uh, high end. I'm adjusting some highs there, adding some stuff, adding some more highs, and some more highs in different places. I got friends in high places. And uh, the, uh, the mix of the EQ on this one is 75%. Now uh, the loop is the uh, VPD1. Over here I'm using the, uh, what do you call it? The micro pitch. And that's all it is. The uh, hyper chorus on slow, I believe. Quite a bit of it. The most I've used so far, I dare say. And uh, the delay, tap delay, use the tap tempo. Set it to eighth notes. And uh, blah, blah, blah. There you go. The uh, reverb, it's the matchbox. And it's a fair amount of reverb. Big time, 3.6 seconds. That and that and that and blah, blah, blah. The uh, amp settings, let me see, let's go into the amp here. Got some volume boost happening. I'm adding some direct mix because on clean amps, I like to add some direct mix. It just adds a little extra dimension to me. I like it. Um, no power sagging on this one. I'm adding some compression to get a little bit more low end out of it. Cabinet is, uh, I don't do any cabinet adjusting, uh, only volume sometimes. And that was already built into the cabinet. So the way the cabinet was set. And uh, the purple rain number two. Starting to get a handle on this whole favorites thing. Really enjoying it. Uh, compressor settings, same. I don't want to have any any big surprises. On the uh, EQs, I'm doing some different stuff with the overdriven one because uh, I'm trying to have a little bit more low end on this one and less high. So I'm removing some of the, uh, I'm keeping most of the low stuff the same. Pulling down some uh, more, a little more 1K though. And, uh, yeah, da, 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 da. and then on the, uh, a little less mix on this one, I'm all over the place and the volume's pulled down, uh, because I need a different, uh, a little less on this one than I do on the, uh, on the clean one. So that's that. I'm not pulling that down. That's one of the changes. Less of that and uh, less of the other highs. So I'm getting more, you know, uh, fatter sound. All the other stuff is the same. Uh, I'm just using less, uh, actually more delay on this one. Same reverb, same chorus, same uh, uh, pitch shifting, same amp settings. Actually, no, this is a different amp, so it's, you know, slightly different, little power sagging. This is uh, an A&M uh, EVH3. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Two presets, one song. Hmm, I remember that video.
that music was horribly I'm thinking two girls one cup sorry oh that music was terribly misleading you thought it was gonna be all nice and sweet but no it was horrible poop horn thumbs down Germany and uh, where's the other place Japan where they do that weird shit come on people get your porn out of the gutter put it back put it back in the vagina where it belongs anyway I digress uh, yeah I'll be back on Friday hopefully we'll do the uh, top 10 uh, profiles by then I've also received a few more free uh, fun profiles from uh, the from Rigbusters, and their thing is using a, a really great clean amp. They're using a Cornford uh, 50 watt, I believe, on the clean channel, and then running some pedals in front of it, overdrive pedals. So they're getting the sound of overdrive pedals into a clean amp, which is something I really enjoyed when I used the uh, the Eggnator with the uh, what do you call it uh, the radial Hot British. That is a wicked pedal. And I'm kind of hoping they do one for that in the future because it's a great fun. It's a great sound, I should say. So I'll see you on Friday. And until then, rock on.